This month, I would like to focus on the theme of kindness and compassion within our schools for May. As a young priest back in 1965, I have fond memories of visiting Transfiguration of Our Lord's School in Etobicoke, where the teachers and staff always welcomed me into their lives and into their classrooms. What impressed me most was the kindness of introducing me to the students and how patient they were with my awkward manners of talking with the children. From then on, I always felt very welcome and accepted by teachers and principals who taught me so much about genuine care and compassion toward their students. Remembering those early days has given great hope for these men and women who are entrusted with the care of students in our schools. Recently, I came across a very meaningful quote from Pope Francis, where he says the following, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, the sun does not shine on itself, and flowers do not spread their fragrance for themselves. Living for others is a rule of nature. We are all born to help each other. No matter how difficult it is, life is good when you are happy, much better when others are happy because of you. From scripture, we hear the beautiful words written by the prophet Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, and that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on each. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. My friends, in these challenging times of teaching and administrating, we often need to remind ourselves that we have the grace of God in our lives, giving us strength and purpose to plant the seeds of faith in the, into the hearts and minds of our students. Our mutual kindness and compassion becomes a source of energy in moving forward in positive ways. A friend of mine, Marcy Buhager, who is a school psychologist with the Toronto Catholic Board, she sent me this, these provoking and positive words. She says, teachers are the one person that a child may be counting on to get them through their day. She recalls a child telling her that if their teacher wasn't there for them, they couldn't have any other reason to come to school. Never forget the impact you have on a child's life. A special education teacher shared a story about 
how they helped a student get through a very difficult time in their life. The student messaged the teachers later and thanked him for the significant impact he made on their life and how grateful they were for him. Here is another story. My friend Maureen Dugo sent this to me. And so bear with me because it really has a lot of impact. The dinner guests are sitting around the table discussing life. One man, a CEO, decided to explain the problem with education. He argued, what's a kid going to learn from someone who decided their best option in life was to become a teacher? To stress his point, he said to another guest, you're a teacher, Bonnie, be honest. What do you make? Bonnie, who had the reputation for being honest and frankness replied, you want to know what I make? She paused. Well, I make kids work hard, harder than ever they thought they could. I make kids sit through 40 minutes of class time when their parents can't make them sit for five minutes without an iPod, GameCube, or movie rental. Do you want to know what I make? I make kids wonder. I make them question. I make them apologize and mean it. I make them have respect and take responsibility for their actions. I teach them to write and then make them write. Keyboarding isn't everything. I make them read and read and read. They use the God-given brain, not the man-made calculator. I make my classroom a place where all my students feel safe. Finally, I make them understand that if they use the gifts given by God, work hard, pray hard, follow their hearts, they can succeed in life. Finally, she said, I make a difference in their lives. I cannot help but applaud this woman, this teacher who speaks so truly of what kindness and compassion are about. Teaching is the profession that makes all other professions possible. Now to uplift our spirits as teachers, and mid staff and caregivers, my good friend Connie Gale, one of our notable retired principals, has created some great thoughts in a rap, in a way to demonstrate kindness and compassion. Hello everyone, I'm Connie Gale a retired educator with Duff and Peel, I've been asked by Monsignor Shields to share with you some of my thoughts and feelings on kindness and compassion. I've chosen to do so today with a poem, which is half rap and half poem. Are you ready? Here we go. This is about the virtues of kindness and compassion. They are long lasting and always in fashion. Show often to others that you really do care about being a person who is just and fair. Many people are feeling desperate and alone. Please just say hello and maybe pick up the phone. Duff and Peel is always in the know, especially for how kindness and compassion should go. Always look for ways to make peace. This I know is what we all teach. Look for the goodness in others every day. Then kindness and compassion will surely come your way. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Oh, the golden rule. It's my favorite and it rings so true. <coughs> Compassion is a beautiful twin to empathy. Taking on others' feelings makes you feel good. You will see. 
If we think of our neighbors as our sister or brother, it will result in helping and being kinder to one another. We all have times when we're longing for love. Why not spread it? It was sent from above. Now is the time to reach out and smile. Showing you care is definitely in style. Being kind can give people hope and compassion can also help them to cope. Each person has their own unique style and everyone needs a friend they can put on their speed dial. Our prayers and our faith can be a daily guide to make us feel good and warm inside. Stand tall to bullies and to hate. This will make everybody feel really, really great. Imagine a world where everyone has a kind heart, where everybody steps up and does their part. Oh, may your days be filled with kindness, compassion, and friends. And now this is where this poem ends. God bless you, everyone. I will leave you with the words from St. Mother Teresa. Be the living expression of God's kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, kindness in your smile. Amen.